Hello my friends, we're here today to see how you can export your products from Nimble, from your Nimble account and import them into your uh, Facebook catalog to serve your uh, Facebook shops and uh, Instagram advertising and Instagram uh, e-commerce. I'm here in my Nimble account, you can see I got a few items, some of them have been imported from Shopify, some others have been uh, uh, imported from, uh, uh, from PrestaShop into my Nimble account and others have been uh, uh, imported and also already uh, listed on a bunch of channels and uh, that's the place where we start. We're gonna soon export a file and get into your into my own uh, Facebook uh, Facebook Commerce Manager. I moved into Facebook Commerce Manager. This is the place where Facebook uh, provides you with uh, a, a bunch of tools to ease your management of uh, any type of commerce you may want to perform on uh, Facebook properties and the first thing you need to have is a catalog which is a, a container of products which you will be able later to assign to either your Facebook shop or your Instagram uh, shop or advertising on Facebook or Instagram or your Facebook pages. Let's uh, first of all start from uh, adding a, creating a new catalog we pick e-commerce, we go next, we select uh, that we want to uh, upload product to our catalog rather than connecting it to a platform. And uh, uh, this is the default name. So we go like test and we go A just to distinguish it. Now the catalog has been created. We can go and see it. Here we're always on Facebook. We haven't been uh, moving to Nambold yet. And you can see there's a catalog with uh, zero items. So next thing, we just click Add Item. And here we have a choice to add uh, items manually or uh, uh, connecting to a platform such as BigCommerce or Shopify or, or others. Uh, or we can use Facebook Pixel uh, uh, to extract content from a website we, we manage. This time we go bulk upload we go, because we're going to use a CSV file which is probably the easiest way to go for you as well. We select File Upload. You do not need to download a template to meddle with because Nimble has done it for you already and the file you uh, will export from your Nimble account is ready to be uploaded into Facebook. So Facebook is ready. So now we move on to Nimble and uh, uh, we take, for instance, this first page with uh, products imported from, uh, as I said, from Shopify, PrestaShop, and also from eBay. So you can uh, you can use Nimble to extract uh, from uh, any of these channels and list on uh, on your Facebook shops and on your Instagram account. But I select 50 products. You may want to select 200. We start with 50, and uh, we go Actions, uh, Export CSV for Facebook Catalog. Here it is. The file is down here, already downloaded into my Chrome uh, uh, browser. I go back on Facebook to the space we prepared earlier on and I, I grab this file and I drag it on um, the upload space. And here we are, we just wait a, a moment. File is uh, fine, we get, we get a, a green line and we can easily just click Next here you can select uh, your currency in case you didn't like US dollar or uh, whatever default Facebook will give uh, your account. And here we just wait a moment for uh, Facebook to process the 50 lines of our file and check each of our products against, uh, against the rules. And uh, here we have, uh, wow, that's pretty low, uh, 18 products uploaded and 32 rejected. The rules uh, of Facebook impose us to avoid uh, duplicated IDs and we can see here we got a bunch of duplicated IDs and uh, that's the reason why those files have been rejected. The other uh, requirement is that we uh, have either a brand or a GTIN identifier and we can see here we got five products with, uh, with no brand and, uh, and here we have a bunch of products with uh, duplicated ID. This is a useful check that uh, Facebook does runs on our uh, on our on our content exactly to uh, avoid us uh, to have duplicated products into into Facebook. 
Of course, I started from a test account with Nimble and we have duplicated items there because we do lots of tests. You can see test test done by, etc. And this, of course, is a tutorial, so it's also very, very useful for you to see to see errors. You can you can actually select, uh, for instance, this uh, SKU code and go back in Nimble and uh, search for it. So you can actually fix the product. There it is. You can see there's two products with, with two products with the same uh, SKU code. And of course, Facebook cannot cannot accept that. And of course, you can fix them in uh, in Nimble. Other from that, we got now this catalog with uh, 18 brand new products in it. We can actually click items and see them. There we are: picture, title, uh, availability is in stock, the price, and uh, the ID, which, as we said, cannot be uh, duplicated. Now, as a next uh, step within your uh, Facebook. Uh, interface you will assign this catalog you can assign this catalog to uh, any of your Facebook properties as I said such as Instagram or uh, Facebook pages or your Facebook shop that's all for today don't forget to uh, like this uh, uh, YouTube account so that you will be automatically informed of any new videos tutorial videos we we will post in the future have a great rest of the day Thank you so much. Goodbye.